This training is to help you go through the exercises which we recommend that you do as part of your active chats conversation. In this part of the training we will go through the safety and top tips, the exercises including ideas for making them easier or harder and then the resources to help you practice and deliver the exercises. The exercises we'll be going through are the seated exercises for strength and balance which are explained on page seven to nine of the active at home leaflets. Safety and top tips. We recommend that you only use the seated exercises. This reduces any risk of falling whilst exercising. Before we get started, there are some safety tips to consider on page five and six of the active at home leaflet. If someone is nervous about exercising, it might help to remind them that being active is safe for the majority of people and has so many health and well-being benefits. There are some steps that you can take to reduce the chance of any problems occurring. Most people can exercise without speaking to their doctor first, especially if their medical condition is under control. However, if someone has any symptoms from a heart, kidney or metabolic condition, they should speak to their healthcare professional first. Key things to remember before you start the exercises. Prepare the exercise space by clearing away any unnecessary clutter. Try to complete the exercises sitting upright in a supportive chair. Have a glass of water ready to sip as you exercise. Start the intensity at an easy level and pace. We will show you some examples of how you can support someone to build up their intensity gradually. It is common for muscles to feel a bit stiff for a few days after you have used them. This is a normal response and shows that the body is responding to increased movement. Try not to hold your breath as you exercise. Try to breathe normally throughout. It is okay to feel a bit out of breath so long as you can still talk. If someone feels acute or severe pain anywhere or dizziness, then stop and rest. If they still don't feel better within 10 minutes, call 111. In case of an emergency, call 999 if someone is seriously ill or there is a risk to life. I'm now going to move on and talk you through the exercises. For each exercise, I'll explain the exercise and the key points to mention. Always start with the basic exercise and build up. Even if someone says that they are used to doing those exercises and they think it might be too easy. We have noticed that where people haven't been as active due to the pandemic, they might find the exercises are a bit more difficult than they may expect. There are suggested adaptions that you can suggest to make the exercises more difficult over time as people get used to them or if people are finding them too easy. The exercises should take about 10 minutes to do so and are split into three sections. Number one, the warm up. Number two, strength and balance exercises. And number three, the cool down. Before we start the warm up, take two to three deep breaths in and out to calm the mind and body in preparation for the exercise. So breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Last one, breathe in and out. By the end of the warm up, you should feel warmer and be breathing a little harder. Lift the heels off the floor and then place them back down. Then lift the toes off the floor and place them back down. Do these movements slowly and get a full range of motion for about 30 seconds or eight to 10 reps. That's one set. To make it harder, you could do two sets or hold for one minute. So 16 to 20 reps. Or you could do alternate feet to make it even harder where you could do one heel lift and one toe lift. So now we can do chair marching. So while seated, lift one leg at a time as if marching with your arms by your side, nice and slow. Do this for about 30 seconds. 
to make it harder, you can lift your legs and your arms together if you feel comfortable. And to make it even harder, you can lift your legs and your arms together, but going faster and lifting higher. Now we've completed the warm up, we can move straight on to the strength and balance exercises. We are going to start with arm raises. So we want to raise our arms to the side and all the way above our head. You can make it harder by going slowly and then hold the arms for one second at the top before lowering them back down. We want to do between three to six reps and one set. To make it harder, you can do seven to 10 reps, one set. Make it even harder, you can add weight or increase to two sets. And make it even harder, you can add legs and gently march. Alternate leg extensions. So we want to just straighten out one leg in front of you and lower it back down. Start with three to six reps for each leg and do one set and build it up gradually. You can make it harder by lifting the leg out of the chair as you straighten it and do seven to 10 reps each leg. Make it even harder by doing seven to 10 reps each leg and holding at the top of the move and the same for the other leg before swapping and make it even harder by add a single arm raise to the front. Lastly, we have our arm curls. So keep our elbows into our sides, bend one arm up and slowly lower. So start by doing three to six reps, one set. Make it a little bit harder, do seven to 10 reps, one set. Or make it even harder, you can add weight or increase to two sets and do both arms together. And to make it even harder, you can add a gentle march or heel lifts at the same time. After our strength and balance exercises, we need to now cool down. We're gonna begin with a hamstring stretch. So gently feel a gentle stretch at the back of your thigh. Hold it for about 10 to 20 seconds and then change legs. To make it harder, do two sets or hold for 20 to 40 seconds. Or to make it harder, do two sets and hold for 20 to 40 seconds. Moving on to our chest stretch. So we wanna sit upright, hold your hands behind your back with your arms straight and gently squeeze your shoulder blades together so you feel the stretch in your chest. For more of a stretch, look up. And you wanna hold this for 10 to 20 seconds and do one set. To make it harder, you can do two sets or hold for 20 to 40 seconds or even harder, do two sets and hold for 20 to 40 seconds. And for our final cool down exercise, we'll do some breathing. So take three deep breaths in and out. If you want some more, you can do three to five deep breaths in and out. Or for that little bit extra, raise your arms above your head when you breathe in and lower them whilst you breathe out. Brilliant, so just a few final thoughts. So remember, all of these exercises are good for everybody, regardless of their fitness level, as they work on joint mobility and flexibility, as well as muscle strength. This decreases stiffness, increases range of movement at joints, and supports people to do their daily activities more easily. So practice maybe explaining the exercises with friends or family a few times. Give them a go yourself uh, before making that first call. To access the exercise videos along with other active chats resources, please visit the link below. Good luck.